There are four physical controllers built into the GT10. You've got the Control 1 and Control 2 pedal, which are basic on-off pedals. They'll allow you to toggle between two values or turn effects on or off. Then you've got the Expression pedal, which offers much greater control than the Control pedals because it works over a range of 127 increments. You know, it can be used for wah or volume, but you can also use it for bringing in degrees of a particular effect. For instance, uh, the amount of gain in a preamp or uh, the amount of delay for instance. So um, it's, it's a handy controller to have uh, for a whole range of different effects. Underneath the toe of the expression pedal is what's known as the expression pedal switch. And it kind of works in the same way as a, a conventional wah pedal where when you press down hard on the toe of the pedal, it'll engage a certain effect. And you may have it set to wah, but you can also assign that particular switch to a, a range of other parameters. And uh, you can also set it to multiple parameters to turn on or off uh, with, when it's turned on. So um, that's the four different physical controllers in the GT10 itself. Aside from the four physical controllers that are built into the GT10, you can also add additional controllers. Basically, you just plug them into the back expression pedal input jack here which will allow you to either plug in an extra two control pedals or an additional expression pedal. How I like to run mine, however, is uh, just using my favorite wah, which I plug directly from my guitar to the input of the wah, and then from the output of the wah to the input of the GT10. That leaves me the expression pedal and expression pedal switch to basically utilize for whatever real-time controls that I, I may wish to make. Aside from all these physical controllers, uh, there are several what I call virtual controllers. Now, you've got the internal pedal, the wave pedal, the input control, and then you've got continuous control messages. So let's have a look at um, all the different parameters that go to making up the pedal assignments and uh, have a closer look at all those different uh, virtual controllers. Aside from the quick assignments that can be made in the pedal effects menu, you can assign a further eight specific parameters in the GT10. Press master and scroll to the assign menu. Here, parameters can be assigned to a number of different controllers. Let's have a look at each setting in more detail. When you first enter the assign menu, you will notice the pages in the top right corner. Press the right cursor to scroll through each of these assignment pages. The numbers in the bottom left corner show you at a glance which assignments are active within a patch. To make an assignment active, simply scroll to the page of the assignment you want to engage and press the master button. You will notice that the respective number becomes blacked out or highlighted. Now for every assignment you make, you are first presented with a quick user setting. Many of the most commonly used settings are available here and they can save a lot of time if you make the same assignments often. You can also define your own presets, which we discussed in the custom presets chapter. Just use the value dial to locate the preset that you would like to use. Of course, there are so many more parameters that can be controlled other than those contained in these presets. So, press the down parameter button to define this. This is the target menu group. A target is basically the parameter that you want to control, and there is not much that can't be controlled in the GT10. Use the dial to locate the target parameter group. Moving down allows you to define a specific parameter from within a target group. When you have selected your parameter, you need to define a minimum and maximum value. For example, if you want to assign a parameter to the expression pedal, you need to define what value the pedal will be at when the pedal is in its minimum position. The expression pedal's minimum is the fully heel down position. Similarly, the target maximum is the fully toe down position. Our next setting is the source. This defines which controller you want to use to change your target parameter. Next we have the source mode. You can set this to either toggle or momentary. If toggle mode is used with any of the physical controllers, it will simply switch between the two defined values. Except that when used with the expression pedal, it requires you to move the pedal through its full range of motion twice for a toggle to occur, whereas momentary 
will move through every value between the minimum and maximum value. For example, if the assignment is a simple on-off, it'll do exactly that, from one to the other, whereas if the minimum value is set to zero, and the maximum is set to 100, the pedal position will reflect all the values from zero to 100 as it is moved through its range. If you assign a parameter to the control pedals and set the source mode to momentary, the change will only occur while the pedal is held down. Active low and high settings allow you to define a range in which certain assignments will take place. This will become clearer as we get to the practical examples. So let's begin with our first example, which is just a basic primer using the four physical controllers on the GT10.